Hello and welcome to another video from the Gaming Toy Boy. Today I thought we'd take a look at um, a job lot that I received this morning. Uh, just gone through it and sorted, a, sorted it all out. So uh, let's get stuck in. So first off I've just got this bag here. Uh, it's just uh, full of uh, tent parts and um, seats and uh, table as part of a set. Any action man collector will probably know what set it is. Uh, doesn't really interest me, it's probably something I'll stick back on eBay. So, uh, you've yeah, got all these clothes here. I'm not exactly sure what that's from. But, um, I'm pretty sure this one is uh, the Mr. T set, the fireman set. I actually have that on card. I'm not pretty sure that's, that's what it is. Also have a Mr. T red top. Dungaree set. Uh, six million dollar man uh, sweater and we have other action man bits like the talk commander sweater trousers adventurer jumper sailor shirt and trousers uh, sleeping bag uh, bed uh, stretcher thingy bit that's a uh, knock off and uh, that's a cover for something action man and uh, this is another thing I'm not sure where that's from looks like padding and bears top actually <laughs> but uh, I don't know what that's from anyway moving on to the uh, well we'll have a look at the little extras that I've got little bits so I've got two SLRs there I've got a shotgun here that's not action man but it's uh, quite cool. And I might keep that to go with uh, one of the figures I'm about to show you. I've also got the red axe there that goes with the fireman and the uh, crash crew set. Map canister, a nice uh, spanner there, adjustable spanner. It's not actually man, but it's actually die cast. So I don't know exactly what set that's from, but it's, that's quite a smart little thing. If anyone knows, uh, let me know in the comments. We've got some uh, bazooka shells. Arrows, belt, bolt croppers from the air. Uh, I think that's the yeah, air. That's the air uh, fireman set as well. Knife, guns. We've got the uh, nice helmet there. I mean, you can't really see it there in this light, but and that will uh, probably replace the one I've got actually because uh, mine has a little crack in it. So we've got the uh, harpoon firing machine detonator. Some scarves. So yeah, nice little lot of uh, accessories there. So now we'll move on to the figures that I got. So we've got this chap here. He's obviously a tank commander. And not in too bad a shape. He does have a missing foot, so I'll have to uh, get that sorted at some point. And uh, moving on, we've got the uh, British paratrooper. Unfortunately, no beret, but uh, the uh, jacket and trousers are quite nice. So. Uh, not too bad there. It's a pretty good head as well. Next we have the uh, Battle of Britain pilot. So no helmet but uh, we've got the goggles which is pretty good. It's got the scarf. Everything else is there so yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Have to remove that paint from those boots but other than that quite nice. So moving on we have the Indian. American Indian I should say. Uh, he's got his, uh, well, they moccasins, I think. Uh, his wig. He's got his little uh, feather in his uh, headband. And to compliment him, I've also got a cowboy. Now, this cowboy isn't the action man cowboy outfit. This is uh, the Guyper Man, Hyper Man, however you want to say it. This is from that set. When I bought it, I didn't actually uh, even realise that. didn't even come into my mind. And then when I opened it, then I thought, well, hang on, the uh, action man one is a uh, red check. I think the trousers are also brown. I'm not sure if these trousers are correct. but yeah, And uh, to finish it off for this lot, was this uh, Cherylea motorbike and sidecar. Not in too bad a condition. A bit of uh, chewing there on the uh, handlebar. Bit unsightly. 
apart from that, not too bad. Obviously, the gun's uh, missing. That is uh, in this bag here somewhere. So, yeah, for £100, a pretty good lot, I think. And, uh, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe. More to come. Goodbye for now.